and welcome to Chalky channel. Today I would like to show you my traveling bag for my dogs. In the previous video I showed you what I take with me on walks. And in the other video I showed you what um, I do have in my dog supply bag, which I use on a daily basis. And today I would like to show you my travel bag or other dog supplies bag, which you don't need on a daily basis, but what you you know, things that you should always have on hand if you live with dogs. So this is actually the storage for my dog supplies uh, as well. And if I go on a bigger vacation, I take this bag with me. Maybe not with all the things that I keep in there now, but almost all of them. And um, yeah, let me just get uh, through this bag with you now. Um, if you want to know how it's called, it's the Rise and Tail. I think a rounder uh, with the grey dots and it comes with an adjustable shoulder strap and with handles it's a little bit padded this bag is also great for a diaper bag and um, it has this special opening uh, so you can open it really widely it's like these old doctor bags from former times but of course not all leather material but well you can have a look in all the things that you keep inside of there. I also have this bag for other things like I put my Cricut uh, scrapbooking machine in there or I have a bag for myself when it comes to traveling and I also have one for my dogs. So in the center where there's this really roomy compartment I just keep some um, extra clothes because one of my dogs tends to throw up uh, Sometimes she has a little bit stomach problems, so I always take some cloth with me. I don't have to ask for the good towels of friends and so on. I also store their jackets in here. Um, these are overalls, specially made for girls, with um, covering um, all the belly area, so they are not suitable for boys. I like very much that you just can put them onto the crown put your dog on top and then close it on their back. This is really, really good. My dogs like that much more than the thing that you close on their belly. It covers all of your dog. I want to say I don't dress my dogs. I just put on these clothes if they really need it, if there is really a lot of snow. Because my dogs do not have fur, they have hair. So they have no undercoat. <laughs> and, um, this is why they really need that. But a healthy dog and a medium size doesn't need that. And in this winter I actually only used it twice because it was really, really warm here. This is the second one I bought. This is from Angel Puppy. Uh, great company. Really good quality. And this one is another one that I bought some years ago. I don't want to uh, tell you the name of the company because they were so unkind and unfriendly and don't want to do any commercials for them but it's basically the same system and it's just a smaller version because one of my dogs grew out of it. Um, I had to buy the other one. So now the main compartment is empty and we have six compartments going all the way around and I will just show you very quick what I keep in each of those sections. Um, this first thing is an affordable dog collar. You need it when your dog had an operation. I like that much more than the plastic cones that you get from your vet usually because they can really hurt your dogs and they feel just so uncomfortable in them. Um, this one is so easy to use. You just open up this velcro. Uh, you use your normal um, collar and then you put it through these little loops here and adjust it around your dog's neck. Close the ring and secure it with a velcro and I like to blow it up if you have to do that after I did put that on to my dog but this is you know depending on your dog um, I just found that it was easier to adjust it because I didn't want to strangle my dog um, I also keep some baby bodies in here now this is a really great tip if you have, uh, if your dog has an operation or any illness um, that uh, they are not allowed to lick on their wounds or maybe they have some skin problems, don't go and buy these incredible, terrible 
expensive uh, clothes for dogs. Just take a baby body. And what I did, I cut it off the long uh, sleeves here. And you just put it over your dog as over your baby. <laughs> on your baby. So um, this opening, uh, sh you know, the front of the of the baby body should be facing upwards when you look on your dog. So this is on its back. And then these little closures, these buttons, are on the top. And you just open up the center button and you can put the tail of your dog through it. And this way you have a really, really cheap way to stop your dog licking on wounds and um, so much better and you can buy a couple of them and wash them and don't have to pay like hundreds of dollars. Um, in the next compartment I just keep extra secure strips that are uh, like just velcro straps that you can put around your dog or on yourself just to have this reflection in the dark. I also do have some uh, different sized dog shoes. I only use them if my dogs do have problems with their feet, wounds, especially in winter time that can be helpful when all the salt is on the streets. So I found them in the $1 section, don't remember where, but you don't have to buy the expensive ones. You can go with the cheap ones as well. Um, they come in plenty of sizes. Um, in the next compartment I just keep this cup and a little uh, treat bag that you can put around your waist and then this... Um, uh, cup is called the H2O Dogget Cup and you just screw it onto the top of any bottle that you have and when you screw it off you can use it as a bowl for your dog and I think for a small size or a medium sized dog this is a really great product and um, I always take that with me if I have to take care of my mother's dog because he's a little bit bigger um, the bottles that I have do not work for him and he's not used to drink from a water stand like my dogs do so I offer him this and you know this uh, treat bag I also only use with a big dog because he needs a little bit more um, as I showed you in my first video my dogs have their treats in their leash bags now there are only two no, three compartments left. And the other compartment I keep my dog's medical supplies. Um, you know, uh, I do have MCP drops in here, uh, an extra toothbrush and some Vaseline. Um, but, you know, you know what your dog needs. Take an extra portion, put it into a container and put it maybe into your travel bag or so. Uh, so you always have it on hand when it comes to traveling. And um, I think uh, it's so individual what you have to take for your dogs with you, so um, you shall uh, decide that on your own with maybe talk to you about what is good to take on a vacation with your dogs. But it's nice to have such a label container which includes all the important medicaments that you need. Then I have an extra light color. If you're interested to learn more about it, uh, watch my um, dog supply bag video. And uh, I also have a little bag in here which you can put treats and then throw it away and your dog has to bring it back and then can eat from the bag. Um, I just use that too to carry my scale with me. Now this is a scale for a suitcase. But as I do have small dogs, I just put them into their bags, press Tara, and then put the dog in the bag and weigh it. And this way, you know how much a dog weighs without... Um, ha you don't have to put the dog onto any um, 
platform or so. They usually get scared by that. And this is a really easy and cheap way um, yeah, to control the weight of your dogs. If you have a small one, of course. In the last compartment, I just keep extra poopy bags um, always on hand. And some of you have been asking me uh, how I um, or where I got my uh, poop bag dispensers from. But uh, I also have a version that I did myself. Now, this is only an old um, gum container, uh, it could be also a pill container or something. All you do is just dump in all of your, maybe your recycling bags. You don't have to use poopy bags in here. You um, drill a hole in the top, in the lid, and then just, you know, pull out your bags. And on the other side, um, I just um, fixed a carabiner. And this way you can attach it to your leash or your bag or on your belt or wherever you want. And you have your homemade dog dispenser and it's really easy and very cheap and eco-friendly. So, I hope that was a little bit informative for you and helped you um, to find out what you should take with you on a vacation. I just want to mention that this is not all that I take. These are more the less important supplies. I did show you in my dog supply or dog diaper bag if you want so um, what I use on a daily base and what I would always take with me. There will be an upcoming video about my SOS medical bag that I keep in my car and that I would also take with me on a vacation if I would go with my dogs and now um, that includes also such a first aid kit for dogs. So if you want to know more about that, stay tuned and um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below and um, hope to see you soon and thank you for your attention.